We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning and welcome to Daily Journal News Break for Friday, February 2nd. I'm your host, Chris Kiefer, and we're going to take a look at the top news and sports stories from Northeast Mississippi. But first, let's start with your weather forecast. Today we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 42 and a low of 27. Looking ahead at your three-day outlook, Saturday cloudy, high of 49, low of 41. Sunday partly cloudy, high of 58, low of 29, and Monday sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 40. Let's take a look now at today's top headlines. When Rodney Crane was named Holly Springs Fire Chief two weeks ago, it was the culmination of a three-decade dream. The 50-year-old Holly Springs native got the firefighting bug as a boy watching firemen. He was hired as a part-time volunteer in 1986 after former chief Joe Fant noticed Crane and a friend helping firefighters replace their air tanks during a fire at the Sunbeam plant. He became a full-time firefighter in 1993 and advanced to assistant chief in 2004. Crane takes over a 42-man department that includes both full-time firefighters and part-time members who are paid to respond to calls. He's about to start hiring to fill openings for firefighters and three administrative slots. The department could grow even more soon as a proposed annexation could force the city to build another fire station. Crane succeeds Kenny Holbrook, who spent the last 24 years as Holly Springs Fire Chief. The Mississippi Highway Patrol will take extra steps on Sunday to make sure roads are safe before and after the Super Bowl. MHP will be participating in a national safety campaign on Super Bowl Sunday to reduce vehicle crashes and enforce traffic safety laws. Operation Crash Awareness and Reduction will begin Sunday at noon and end at midnight. All available troopers will be assigned to saturation patrols to combat the recent statewide increase in traffic fatalities. Safety checkpoints will also be used to remove impaired drivers from the roadways and promote seatbelt usage. Statistics show impaired driving crashes spike on Super Bowl Sunday when motorists are traveling to and from game festivities. The leadership opportunities provided by the Girl Scouts Heart of the South chapter are no longer just for young girls. Women of all ages can now learn about leadership through a new eight-month course titled We Lead Women Elevated. It's being hosted in downtown Tupelo starting March 8th. This is the first time Girl Scouts has offered the program. It was created after a report showed many women lack the confidence to be leaders. Speakers planned for the classes so far include Toyota Mississippi Representative Roberta Davis, who will oversee a diversity workshop, and Loretta Rudd from the University of Memphis, who will discuss resilience and emotional intelligence. The class will also cover topics like cultural competency, career development, communication skills, conflict negotiation, mentoring, work-life balance, and personal branding. Meetings will take place from 6 to 8 p.m. on the second Thursday of each month from March until November. They will be held at a downtown Tupelo location. There is a $125 fee to participate. And in sports, Mississippi State basketball freshman Kishan Fazell has had a lot to learn in his first year in Starkville. Fazell was a four-year letter winner at Lawrence County High School and was rated as the second best prospect in Mississippi. But after he arrived at Mississippi State over the summer, he was no longer the biggest player on the court. In fact, the 6'8", 230-pounder now has four teammates taller than he is. He's also had to adjust to a reduced role as a true freshman. Fazell is only averaging 7.2 minutes in the 16 games in which he has appeared off the bench. He has scored 30 total points along with 27 rebounds. Fazell said he's learned to be mentally focused and pay attention to a lot of small details. He's also learned from watching his teammates and being patient. While this year has been an educational experience, Fazell said he can already tell a difference in his game. And he said the experience has also helped him grow as a person. Meanwhile, MSU head coach Ben Howland said Fazell has a tremendous upside and has a big future ahead of him. 
And that does it for News Break on this Friday. Don't forget that this show is just one of the many online offerings, courtesy of the Daily Journal, to get you news off the page and on the go. Ole Miss and Mississippi State fans, check out the Double Coverage podcast for the latest on the Rebels and Bulldogs with beat reporters Parrish Alford and Logan Lowry. On Thursday's episode, they talked about the Mississippi State men's basketball team getting a big road win, while Ole Miss still seeks its first victory away from home. Listen to Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or at doublecoverage.djournal.com. And each story discussed on Newsbreak can be found in your daily journal or online at djournal.com, where you can also catch a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday morning at 7 a.m. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Kiefer. Have a great Friday.